we have seen that according to faraday's law if there is a change of flux with a magnet flux linked with a coil then the current start flowing in the coil we want current we want emf should be developed and current should flow so what should we do answer is we should make the arrangement so that flux linked with the coil change so we want that flux linked with the coil should change how can we change the flux linked with the coil for that we see the formula for flux what does it consist so answer is flux magnetic is equal to b into a into cos theta and theta is angle between b and a that means the flux has three components one is magnetic field other is area and other is angle angle between b and a if we change either of these any one if we manage to change the flux will change if we keep on changing it the flux will keep on changing and by the time flux keeps on changing the current will be flowing in the coil so what are the methods to change the flux and to induce emf to induce emf we need to change magnetic flux to change flux we have three methods number 1 changing magnetic field b number 2 changing area of contact and a third changing angle between b and a so these are the three methods by which we can change the flux and if there is a change in the flux during certain time what do we get emf across the coil so these are the three methods because there are three quantities and these three can be changed the first quantity is what changing magnetic field b here is a coil and we have created a magnetic field with help of this magnet and according to this distance the magnetic field here is 20 units suppose now we bring it closer when we bring it closer this distance has decreased now the magnetic field has become 100 what is change in the magnetic field 100 minus 20 this is change in the magnetic field multiply with this area a this is change in the flux if this is change in the flux and it has taken time 5 millisecond then what is the emf produced emf produced is d5 by dt this is equal to 80 a divided by 5 millisecond this is area we put the values here what do we get emf so whenever bring a magnet close to this the magnetic flux is changing and we get emf across it there is another uh, very practical method what we are doing it is like this that we have got a coil and in that coil this is a interesting practical and you can do it this experiment here is a coil which has got many turns and these two ends are here 
we put an LED over here or a galvanometer or LED. Now here I put a magnet in this condition. I put a wire here on the wire I put a magnet. This is a wire and this is a magnet north south. Now how is the magnetic field here? Answer this is magnetic field. Now I start rotating it. It comes here. When it comes here how much is the magnetic field here? That becomes zero. When it is like this the magnetic field is this way. Now rotate it this way and here this is north this is south. Now magnetic field is this way. There is plus B, there is minus B. Plus B, 0, minus B, again rotate it. So you keep on rotating it this way. The magnetic field here is 100, 0, minus 100, 0, plus 100, 0, minus 100, 0 and you rotate it very fast uh, just like this make it fast rotation if you make it fast rotation what are you doing you are changing b b linked to coil if you are changing b linked to coil then flux will change and if the flux change because the flux is made of b if you are changing B, then the complete flux change with this coil. And if the flux change, what you find here? There is a deflection here. If you have a LED here, the LED will start showing light. You can do this and this same machine is fitted in your motorcycle, in our cars. We call it alternator and this gives current here. So this is the very fundamental principle and you can experiment it in the school anywhere you will get the EMF here. In this, what we are changing? Magnetic field.